this is so random, but I thought I was doing it. I might as well film it for you. So as you can tell, I'm actually cleaning out my golf bag. Uh, number one, because I got iRange Sports tripod to film videos. I went to film um, in the winter and I went to stick my phone on and it like was falling off and I was like, I don't remember it having this kind of issue and it shouldn't be because of the cold or the warmth or whatever. So I was honestly just really confused. And then I just looked online and it's because there is, I just ordered it because I think I lost it. <laughs> there is a puck that goes on, on the case of your phone and then on this. And I think I lost it. I think I like, I'll keep this in my bag. Obviously when I'm playing and I think when I was taking clubs in and out, it must have like flopped off. I don't know, I'm gonna still look around a lot. I mean, I bought a second one, so if anything, I don't think it hurts that too. Anyway, so I was cleaning out my golf bag, so I thought I'd share. Let me see what my battery like is, I don't know. I think it'll be fine. So I'm cleaning it out. I have all my clubs. I think I might wash my clubs too while they're out. But I've never shared what was in the pockets of my golf bag because I wanted to film golf clubs versus golf bag. This is my golf bag. I have a tailor-made one. I've had this since 2020. I actually love it. I, I think the color is really fun. I I don't know, I just was in a mood for an orange bag when I got it and I haven't gotten tired of it. So I still have it. I love how it's like neutral and but also really fun. Like the orange doesn't like overpower it too much. I am also still obsessed with orange for some reason. So yeah, um, I have a pencil mark on my bag, so that's what I'm trying to clean right now. But yeah, I thought I'd share what I have. I actually don't have much in my bag. Obviously my clubs, and then this Irene Sports filming stick, soon to be puffed with as well. I'm gonna show you what I have in my pocket. Okay, so I emptied out all my pockets, I think, yeah. We'll start with what I keep in my, actually, let me take it all out, because I'm gonna be putting it back in, but I'll also show you what I have in it, because I also am taking some stuff out, because it's gross. My bag smells like straight up golf course, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> I have like Band-Aid packets in here from blisters and stuff. <laughs> Let's get into it. Sorry, my dog doesn't really get to see my golf bag that much, so she's gonna be just as interested as you guys. I just got into wearing a glove. I've been playing golf my whole life. Um, I'm in my 20s and I never wore a glove. The glove, baby. And I got this one from Asher Golf, I believe. Yeah, Asher Premium Apparel. And I really like it. So I only have this one glove, but it has been fitting great and playing well. I'll probably need a new one here soon, but this is what it looks like. Just fun. I do like it. I'm just not used to taking it on and off when I go to putt. I'm always, I still have it on or like when I'm going to drive and I don't have it on. And so it's just like kind of time consuming right now. But once I get into rhythm, it'll be much better. That just stays right here when I'm not playing the little Velcro on the bag. When I am playing, I don't like to do the Velcro on and off because it's already getting so much Velcro, so I just like put it in my pocket or in my pants. I also have a Groove It, but this is really great to have because it cleans your clubs. I don't think there's anything in it. Yeah, you just put water in here. I actually add some soap to it as well so that when I hit a chunky shot or just if you hit a shot and it's wet out or disgusting or just anyways, it's hitting the ground so dirt and grass gets on it. You clean your club off with it right after you hit and it gets in the grooves, hence the keyword groove it, the wet club scrub. But I put the soap in here too with some warm water and it lasts a pretty decent amount of time because um, you just squirt the water on and then scrub. So actually while I have this out, I'll have to make sure I put more water in it because it's empty. And I just keep this right here by my glove and it's got this easy just like magnetic thing. This is a great gift to give. I gave it to my dad for Christmas and it was a, definitely a winner. It's actually my boyfriend's idea to give it to him for Christmas. What's also kind of like on the outside, I've got two Sharpies, a black and a pink, and I keep that in my container, but I do need to get these out of here. There's like two pencils in here. I have no idea how they got in there. I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna invest in a dark purple Sharpie. I really wanna put some markings on my ball that are dark purple. I don't know why, I'm just kind of, I was just kind of vibing it the other day. I was putting the pink on and the pink wears off pretty fast and the black's just a little too dark. So I kind of want to do something more fun, like a dark purple. So I may be buying a dark purple Sharpie here soon. Oh, I have a towel. This is my putting towel. I'll bring this onto the 
putting green and clean my ball off. But I got this for Christmas, it's so cute. It says Queen of the Green, it has my name on it which I thought was really cute. And this just hooks on to the bag. And then I also have the towel I was using earlier. Uh, this is, I honestly, Bailey got like a pack of these and this one just has like red and blue on it. Yeah, that I keep two, two towels with me. Even though I have the Groove It, I like to just like do a quick clean with this. And sometimes this is my putting towel if I don't want to take this one. I have the Blue Tees Range Finder and I really like this. It's just easy to use. Yeah, I don't know, I just like it have that right there on the bag. So as we put stuff away, I will talk through it and which pockets it goes in. I always have sunscreen in my bag because when you're outside in the heat all day, you need to be protecting your skin. I'm gonna have to get a new one of this. I love to keep a spray with me because it's just easy to reapply. I do put a cream on before I leave the house. What is it? I'll go grab it. Sometimes I keep it in my bag. This is the Sumbum sunscreen, if it's gonna focus. I keep a 50 in my bag. This is a 50, this is the banana boat for it. Like I said, I like to have a spray to reapply, but this I'll put all over my body before I leave or like while I'm at my car and stuff. This one is a sunscreen for your face to reapply. Um, I put sunscreen on my face every day before like my makeup and stuff before I leave the house, but this is a sunscreen that's like a spray that I like to keep on because um, it wears, I mean like your sunscreen wears off, so. This is from Kula. I just don't like how low the SPF is. The SPF is 18. It is organic and just like a quick mist and I wear a hat, so I still like carrying it because it's like good to have, I think. Especially on those really hot days when you're out there for a long time, which I'm so excited for. If you live in Ohio, we're almost there. It's in the 60s this weekend, drops back down to the 40s, and then it's gonna be the 60s and rising the following week, and it is almost May. Almost there. Okay, so sunscreen, I usually keep in my big pocket just because I'm not really reaching for it the whole time. I did have it down in this one at one point. I'm trying to think if I wanna keep anything else in that one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it in my big pocket, so. I'm just gonna put it down. I have like a mesh pocket inside of the bag and I need to make a note on my phone that I need to buy more spray sunscreen because I'm running out. So I've got those in there. And then if you are a female golfer, you will understand this next aspect, tampons. So I like to keep tampons in my bag. I'm not gonna explain anymore. Usually I just keep it right there with the sunscreen, but I think I'm gonna change it up. I have two outside pockets. I have a valuables and then this like random one. I'm gonna put these in this random one because they're like easy access, but I don't really reach for that pocket that often. I'm almost done, honestly. I don't have much more to talk about. I I love to keep chapstick. In my valuables pop pouch, I'll have my Burt's Bees. I have a Ghost Golf pouch. I got Bailey at like a belt, I think, from them, and he didn't want this, so I took it because it's actually a nice little pouch. I keep ball markers in it. I feel like we can all be real here. Like it definitely happens. Our bags get gross or we pull things out of it, but I'm trying to be better about it. I have a Buckeye ball marker that also has a Brutus on the back, so you get a little fun change. A divot tool. I got this when I caddied for my dad at, this is a place called the Hickory Hills Golf Club. And I love this one a lot, not only because it's a divot tool, so I can take it right out on the green with me, it also has a ball marker on it that's magnetic. <sighs> Makes for an easy trip to your pot. I just don't love carrying this in my skirt pocket because it's kind of heavy and it just kind of bulges out just a little bit like on your little pocket with your Lululemons. But I do love my divot tool and it's a really good one actually. Super random caddy gift. Love it from my dad. So this is a guitar pick. My dad's like family friend knew this guitar player. So he like got us all guitar picks from, I forget who the country star singer was, but I have guitar pick, which is kind of a fun little like ball marker to have and people can ask you about it and it's fun. And then I went to Italy on a medical research fellowship um, back in 2018. I love to keep this with me. It is a Euro, but it's a, a cute little Euro. Here's my 20 cent. <laughs> it's so old. I'll use that as a ball marker. So there's some fun ideas if you don't know what to get for a ball marker. Another ball marker I have is this one. It's a double eagle club ball marker. 
It can be big or you can take it out and it can be a little coin. I got this from my boyfriend. He played in a golf event at Double Eagle here in Columbus. But it, if you know what Double Eagle is, it's actually a private golf club and you have to like be invited to play there. So I haven't played there, but I have a ball marker from there and a hat, he got me a nice hat. But um, I love using this one. This one's like, these ones are my top two that I use. Um, this one is just like nice except there's no divot tool. It's between those two. So I'll usually like, this is my divot tool. I'll take on the green with me if I know I made a mark. And then this one's usually my ball marker. Those are my ball markers I just like to keep. But like I said, I keep them all in this little pouch from Ghost Golf. I kind of want to like get like a nicer pouch to keep. And then I just leave those in my valuables pouch. Right there, at the top of the bag, super easy. So like when I'm golfing, that's my pouch. My hand is in there all the time. Speaking of divot tools, I also have this ancient one from my grandpa. He was a big golfer. He passed away a couple years ago and my dad was going through some of his stuff in his golf bag. He thought of me with this and it's actually the best divot tool. I have like, it's better than the purple one. It is so nice. It like, you literally jab it into the ground and it fixes the divot immediately, I swear. It just has a cute little pouch it stays in. I don't use pencils anymore to write on scorecards unless me and Bailey are playing like out of town and we get the scorecard from that golf course or like a fun golf course. So I'm just gonna get rid of these because they were from, I think, Cleveland when we went to go play. I have some lotion that was in here but I'm not gonna carry it with me, but it's still good. So I'll maybe just like put it in my nightstand. And then I had random teas for some reason in my valuables. But I didn't even show you. I also have a tea pouch right here above the ball pouch where I keep like literally like all my teas. Like so many random teas. I love a good long tea. My favorite tea that I've been using, I just use like usually like these plastic ones um, with the blue line. I think these are the three and a half ones, I think. Like, cause these are like the regular, just like the standard tea size. And these ones are just a little bigger. So I like using the white ones. Cause I do have to tee my driver up quite a bit. I had some <laughs> band-aids. Last year, I had a couple blisters, so I got this like blister tape. I'm just gonna put this on our medical thing because I haven't had, knock on wood, hadn't had any in a while. These are some mints. I'm just gonna throw these into that valuables pouch because I like to just have mints or some kind of freshness or gum during the round. And inside my big pocket is a mesh pocket where I leave my phone um, and my keys. Sometimes I'll put them in the valuables. Actually, sometimes, most of the time I keep my phone in the valuables pouch over here because I keep my score on my phone or I'm filming so it's easy to grab but I'll like at least take my wallet off of there and put that in the mesh pocket inside with my keys so that's usually the gist with that I guess last but not least because I need to put these back in before I forget and then one day need them I took my winter gloves out of my bag already but I usually have winter gloves and like a hat in here for the winter and I keep those in my bag but I also have rain gloves from foot joy when it's it's raining out, it's nice to have a pair of waterproof gloves so that your club doesn't slip out of your hand. Camera just died, so I'm gonna film the rest on my camera. Luckily, I'm almost done. Um, but I have my rain gloves, so I just put these in the pouch with my sunscreen. You know what? I'm actually gonna keep these in with my sunglasses. I haven't even shared that. But I have a pouch over here by my water bottle. It's over next to the ball pouch. And I keep my Oakleys in here. Um, these are my golf Oakleys. I also like to use these for running, but most of the time these are my golf sunglasses. I have a nice sturdy case. I am able to like leave them in my bag and not worry about. So those are in this big side pouch, and I'm gonna put my rain gloves in with that. Last but not least, I have a rain jacket that I'm, I always like to carry with me just because you never know when it's gonna rain. It's always good to have something like that. And I just put that in the big pocket, obviously. I have a little, it's a tripod, like camera stick that you can use with an alignment stick. Um, honestly, the stick is really unstable, so I only use this one like on the, on the range. This one's a little easier to manage on the course when I'm playing. Good to have like different alternatives or if I wanna have different shots, it's a good option too. 
I'm gonna just put it down below my rain jacket because I don't usually use it that much. So that's down there. And then obviously my ball pouch, which doesn't have much in it right now because I lost a couple balls the other day. I'm gonna film a video about that and the golf balls that I'm using because I'm kind of in this phase where I'm trying to figure out which balls I want to use regularly. So I'll keep you guys posted with that. Yeah, that's my golf bag. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thank you.